Google reviews from funny place names that I found on a map when I was bored and I found funny. Okay, bye. Yes, today we will be doing Google reviews. Now, Google reviews are a wonderful source of both information and entertainment. Now, I've done a couple of these before, so I thought to spice it up. Why not do it on uh, UK place names that are very funny to some people, like children, like me? So, let's begin with some brown willy. Now, Brown Willie is a tour in uh, Cornwall. It's a hill with a little stone thing on top of it, and it's just a short walk away from Rough Tour, obviously. So let's see what some of the reviewers of Google, the esteemed reviewers, have to say about Brown Willie Tour. The great brown, brown almighty. Not really, as here is an image of it. It's not that mighty. I mean, they're sp I know they're supposed to be, but this one in particular isn't. Would not exactly call this a mountain. Good to say you've been there, but spend more time at Rough Tour next to Brown Willie. <laughs> I don't know, it depends what you're into, I guess. Um, you can either spend more time at Rough Tour or next to Brown Willie. You don't have to go to Rough Tour at all if you don't want to, to be honest. So it's, it's really up to you. Same though. <laughs> it's a funny joke, it's really good. I like it. One star, I didn't see any brown willies. Well, that's just disappointing. I mean, there's only one really to speak of, unless you're talking about something else, in which case I'd, I, this probably isn't the kind of geography, geographical location for finding brown willies. Once you go brown, you won't sit down. Proper leg workout climbing this. <laughs> some of these, some of these are wonderful little puns. Some of them, I mean, most of them that I was sifting through were absolute garbage, just going, oh, it's funny because brown willy, it's funny. This one confused me, this next review. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to process it and work out what it's supposed to mean, but here you go. Amazing holy mountain charged with powerful energy through Master of Yoga, George King, on 23rd of November 1958. This is now the date of an annual pilgrimage meeting 1245 on the top. Pilgrims sent out energy for world peace and healing. Well, in 1958, it's not really worked very well, has it? Let's be honest. Great spot to practice karma yoga. Very beautiful views too. Nice. Four likes. Four people found that helpful somehow. This is what I'm talking about. Google reviews are just full of insane people who... Um, I, I, this is the caliber of stuff you get. Because who in their right mind goes, yes, I want to spend 10, 15 minutes of my day writing out something about like a spa shop in bloody Grantham or something. Uh, why? Who cares? Now, Shitterton uh, as a town, uh, a little hamlet thing, uh, it doesn't have many things in it. It has houses and that's about it. But I just thought I'd give you a little bit of backstory about it because it's just too wonderful a name to, to pass up on mentioning. And this is taken straight from Wikipedia because that's the calibre of my research. Shitterton is a hamlet in Dorset, England. It has attracted worldwide attention for its name, which dates back at least a thousand years and means farmstead on the stream used as an open sewer. So yes, come to Shitterton and enjoy the lovely sights of our open sewer. It's perfect, isn't it? It's delightful. Very quaint. Now the next one we will be looking at is Pratt's Bottom. Now Pratt's Bottom is a village in Greater London and its main feature is being a joke that Americans don't understand, which is greatly pleasing. Now, Pratt's Bottom obviously is a wonderful joke uh, and all, but it does have some fantastic uh, reviews of things like petrol stations and chip shops, uh, which I can't pass up the opportunity to read out, because they're just, you find these little nuggets of perfection. If you want a coffee, please go away. On Sunday morning around 7.30 or lunchtime, you get only a guy in Costa Coffee apron and hat, but they do not serve coffee, usually only some food. The coffee is okay when it is available and they get the order right. If you order black coffee, usually it is with milk if you are lucky to be served by somebody using some antiperspirant. <laughs> is even better. Petrol, sometimes it takes a few minutes to clear a pump and I can start filling my car, but is fine because there is no other petrol station in Pratt's Bottom anyway. I love these, they're just so beautiful. You can find these anywhere, in any town in the world, but they're, they're, they're just full. How much time do you have on your hands to think, yes, I'm going to do this? It's so pointless. Another one for the, uh, for the same service station. 
Uh, it's just, it's beautiful. Don't bother ask the dude for a Costa coffee after hours as apparently the machine is broken. Perpetually. It's perpetually broken after a certain time. Every bloody time. We don't go here anymore. Boss man from the Shell Select Kent Gateway sorts us out nicely regardless of the time. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Like, we don't go here anymore. What, did you make that a destination? Is that a place that you go for fun? And I love the fact just that he calls someone from another garage boss man. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> And this is another one from the same service station. Uh, this chap gave it five stars and originally put the word dank to describe a petrol station. Uh, it was translated by Google, fortunately for us mortals to understand, as thanks. Apparently. <laughs> and finally, penis stone. And now I have some, uh, some information on Penistone here. Penistone is a market town in South Yorkshire. Uh, its name is derived from the old Welsh word pen, meaning head, end, top, height, or hill, uh, the Old English ing, a place name forming suffix, and tun, meaning village, farmstead, or estate, which is interesting. But it does have penis in the name, which is much funnier to people, morons like myself. Now, the pièce de résistance, penistone, or penistone, however you want to pronounce it, I'm sure uh, there's a way, but I can't be bothered to find out. Uh, this is quite a big town, so it has plenty of like Tesco's and fish shops and things like that, which the reviews are always excellent on those. This first one is from a uh, fish and chip shop called uh, Three Friars. Uh, this chap gave it one star and he said, inaccurate, they have four friars. Thanks for letting us know, that is, uh, it's false advertising really, isn't it? And from the same uh, fish and chip shop, uh, the fish was chewy and full of bones. You know, like fish are usually when you get them. It's fish. That's what it. That's what it is. Now this next one uh, was from a coffee shop, and I think the person who wrote this two-star review is going a bit mental. I hope they're okay. Good food and Wi-Fi, wrong ketchup, and they only have Pepsi. Shocking. I mean, what do you mean wrong ketchup? Was it like brown? Was it purple ketchup? Was it? Spa branded or Tesco branded ketchup and not Heinz? What is the wrong ketchup? There's so many questions. Why are you so bothered about having Coke? I mean, like, there's a lot of places that only do Pepsi. Is this is this a deal breaker for you? To give you two stars, it's good food and they have Wi-Fi, but they don't have, like, the right type of ketchup in their mind and they don't have Coke, so that's just two stars. Now, this is just a, a, a four-star review of a Tesco's in Penistone. Now, as strange as that is to say, uh, the length and the detail that they've put into this review is fantastic. This must have taken a good 20 minutes to, to come up with and, and write. Superstore? Well, hardly that. It is a middle-sized Tesco supermarket situated in the centre of Penistone, with a large car park which is frequently full at peak times. Most foodstuffs can be got here, although the in-store bakery is small and the available hot food or cooked meat selection smaller still. Not too much in the way of white goods available either, although there is a small selection of mobile phones, home office supplies and related goods. Bathroom and post box available inside along with the usual recycling facilities and a community notice board. Limited though it is compared to a big Tesco, it is by far the best retail outlet in Penistone. It's just wonderful, isn't it? It's, it's, you can imagine someone there firing up their Windows XP uh, PC from Hewlett Packard um, back in the, the day and writing this. Stunning, absolutely beautiful bit of, uh, bit of prose there. And the final review of the whole thing. This is a review of a wine shop in Penis Stone. They gave it three stars and said, fine when I went meanie moons ago. And I'm concerned for their mental state. Thank you very much for watching Google reviews from funny place names that I found on a map when I was bored and I found funny okay, bye. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, then do smash the ever loving silliness out of the like, subscribe and share and the bell buttons. Um, follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram. And I think what you can do to push all of these buttons today is uh, grab a, uh, a piece of paper this has been a stone on it. Let's tape that to your screen and then punch it because I'm running out of these. I really am. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching again and bye for now. 
stay inside, still stay inside, keep staying inside. 